Government has withdrawn the appointment of Dr. Bafwewa as the new Director General of the Ghana Health Service. No explanation has so far been given for the government's decision. The information we've gathered indicate that the Dr. Bafwewa uh, was appointed in a letter signed by the Executive Secretary to the President, Nana Asanti Bedietu, on the 5th of November 2019. He was given the new role following the reassignment of the former um, head of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Anthony Insiasari, to the presidency as an advisor on health-related issues. Before the appointment, Dr. Ewa was the medical director of the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital. Uh, Dr. Ewa was to head the Ghana Health Service in an acting capacity, and uh, the statement said, quote, pending receipt of the constitutionally required advice of the governing board of the service given in consultation with the Public Services Commission. The graduate of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, KNUST Business, School of Business and Consultant Radiation Oncologist who has been working at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital since June 2010, also served as a personal assistant of the Health Minister Kweku Ajiman Menu. His latest development, this latest development also comes days after it emerged that a group of health workers at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital were said to have petitioned the president to reconsider the appointment of their medical director who they say has frustrated them in the past. So this is a story that uh, has generated some controversy on social media. Uh, Sidwa Aho is the uh, country focal person for the Africa Civil Society Platform for Universal Health Coverage. He's joined us on the phone line for some quick insight onto this latest development. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for all your time. Good afternoon. Uh, there has been, you know, relative stability when it comes to the uh, Ghana Health Service and uh, for all those who are working in the health sector, there seems to have been some stability at the front. What do you think this latest um, development would do to that stability? Right, thank you very much. Um, in the first place, we were even surprised that the daughter in has been moved from the Ghana Health Service to the presidency as the advisor. And well, having done that, um, they have the current person who has been withdrawn uh, to act. And I sincerely believe that this decision was not taken in the right. It was an informed decision. It was one that was given my consideration and they needed advice. Which decision are you referring and that, to? The appointment, his appointment or his, uh, the, his dismissal? For, for the president to make a youth hand on that decision, especially given that he's even acting. And at a time that he's just, he's not even started work. He, he just took up that position. He's not really started. It leaves a lot of questions because it comes at the background of the the agitation within the party members of the ruling party that the state action director general is not uh, a true party person. Okay. And if that is the basis for this withdrawal. We find it very unfortunate, and it will serve as a terrible precedent, precedent for the Ghana Health Service. This is because the Ghana Health Service is a sector that is usually managed by highly technical and competent people okay. who are grounded in terms of what they do. So you believe so this is becoming a place. You you believe this is uh, this has political has a political undertone in fighting um, uh, politically. That's what has caused this U-turn by government. It, because if you look at it, because there were there were a lot of complaints and social media campaigns among the MPP activists mm. that the, the the he is not a true party person, and and so shortly after this agitation, then the president makes a U-turn then. Even though the president has not come to say this, it, it does appear that it is as a result of that. Mm. And I'm saying that if behind the scenes, this is the reason why he's been, his, his appointment has been revoked, 
then it is very unfortunate. It, it will serve as a bad president because then... Okay, but, but as it stands now... The tendency for us to have somebody as a director general who is not granted, who doesn't have the technical competence, competence and abilities to run the Ghana Health Service. As it, as it stands now... Happen. Yeah, uh, we do not know the reasons government has adduced to... Uh, the U-turn or the, re the revocation of his appointment. But uh, you are saying that there are some political shenanigans leading to this. But from where you stand, how yeah. do we shield our health sector from political you know, influence? Because clearly health is of concern or should be of concern to every person, ir irrespective of your political uh, lineage. Yes. Um, now, you see, health is a very important part of our you know, it's sometimes difficult to really say, uh, take a, a draw a clear line because the president has the appointing powers. Right. Or, and he will have to appoint people who are competent and fit for that position. And, 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 and there's no problem if the president appoints. There's no problem about it. The problem is things like this that we are beginning to experience. It's not a problem if the president appoints people who are not competent and fit. It is kind of problem if competent people are appointed and as a result of those kind of experience, such people are taken away. Mm. Well, the president has the, 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 the mandate and the authority to do that. Okay. Now, be it as it may, should this hold, we, 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 we're hoping that whoever that is due for the has the ability, competency, and that kind of knowledge and experience to turn the, to continue to make progress, bring the guy in the manner that will improve the healthcare indicator. But it, 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 the signal is not good. The, the, the president is not good. If, if, and I'll answer that if, okay. as a result of that situation, what is the, okay. the, the government party? It's not a good signal. All right. Thank you for making time to speak with us, Sidu Aho. Uh, he is the country focal person for the Africa Civil Society part, uh, platform for universal health coverage.